to this kid. He is so fussy today. It is unreal. He's just teething, and it has been a rough week for a little rowboat. Bless it. What do you have in your mouth, dude? What is that? Where did you even get that? It's a t oh. Oh, the bag's already open. That's good. Here. Well, there you go. Live your life. Okay, so we are going today. Sitting on the back porch right now waiting for Bubba to wake up, who did not go to sleep until literally an hour and a half ago. But he's been down in total for three hours. So that's how that's how naps have been going today. Um, but we are going to hit up the Super Target. So Boiling Spring, South Carolina has a Super Target. The Greer one is significantly closer to us. Um, and I don't honestly think I've maybe been to the Woodruff Road one, but like one time in my life because I avoid Woodruff Road like the plague. Like if something's on Woodruff Road, I just don't go. There are two targets that are, the Woodruff Road one's not closer just simply because of time, but the Greer one's much closer. They're both gross though, and just always a mess. And even the Spartanburg one is always a mess and just, stuff is thrown everywhere so i was like mom let's go try the super target before it gets disgusting hopefully they keep this one a little bit nicer but i doubt it um <clears throat> i don't quite know what a super target is apart from just more room for more stuff some say that there's like they have a food court in it but i looked at the pictures online it doesn't look like they have it but anyway bowling springs south carolina um in the upstate that's where we're gonna go today whenever <laughs> He decides to wake up. Um, I have to get some stuff for dinner because I don't know what we're doing for dinner. I was gonna do, we got these quiches from Costco, but Sam threw away the instructions on how to cook it. So I gotta look that up. I also need to get sausage or like some kind of meat to go with it. And if that's not what we end up doing, I like might find something else at Target. They usually have little, they're usually on an end cap, but you can get like little pre-made meal kits. Like it's not like the food's completely to like made, but <clears throat> it'll, it's like a little bag and everything is already in the bag and then it has instructions for how to cook everything. And we found some really good recipes. Like we made chicken taco bowls one time from one of those little bags. I think it was just, we lived up at the old house. So I know Ezra was little, um, but I might've been pregnant with Ro, but he was, he had not been born yet, obviously. So um, gotta find something and gonna check out the fall decor because it is definitely, looks like it's huge. Like it looks like they have <clears throat> the hearth and hand stuff. Like, is that what it is, a hearth and home? Um, looks like they have that in excess. So I'm really excited to go do that today. And then apart from that, I don't know what we're getting into. If I'm being completely honest with you, we'll see where the day takes us. Well, that was underwhelming. Uh, the target was essentially, so it's a super target is what it's called. But it was essentially just like, they had nothing more than our Greer Target. It was cleaner, it was brighter. They did have like an Ulta in the Target, which had other makeup, like nicer high-end makeup. Like I would not say that it had anything crazy. And just for as big as it was, like I expected it to have way more stuff and it just didn't. So their home decor section was nice, but not anything crazy. It did, however, get some stuff. So I'm gonna show that to you guys really quick. Well, he's walking around. So I took a pouch for the boys just in case they got hungry. I didn't realize the pouch was still open. Roman was sitting on it and it was like spilling out. So he's literally wearing a big t-shirt, a diaper, and sneakers right now. Come on, guys, it's time. Gigi bought the boys two packs of Hot Wheels. So they're in heaven. Um, this is what I grabbed for dinner. We're gonna do the family size chicken mozzarella tortellini with some red sauce that we have, and then I'm gonna cook some chicken with it. That's what's in here. I did get a little bit more chocolate milk for my chocolate uh, protein ice cream. Also got Dawn Power Wash. This is not the most exciting haul. Um, I did get a Hearth and Hand dried eucalyptus candle. It smells so good. It's 12 bucks, really cute. Look at that. I got these. What happened? Oh, did you hit your head? It's all bad now. All right, I got these power cakes, the flat jack quick mix from Kodiak because they're quick. So got those. What else did I get? Oh, I grabbed a car because Roman like leaned over and just like saw it in the store and really wanted it. So I grabbed that for him. Dawn, more like just Dawn. This fell in the buggy, didn't even know it. Method body wash. 
grab that. I did get some self tanner. This was one of the things that Ulta had that was really nice. They had a, a bunch of really cool like makeup products. So I grabbed Loving Tan. I grabbed MAC. This is the matte lipstick in Velvet Teddy. So I have Velvet Teddy in them. Hey, mommy's talking, do not interrupt. I have Velvet Teddy in like a, it's a really shiny color. I can't think what it's called. Um, but this is like a matte. I also got this cute little thing for decor. Can you guys see like how? Adorable that is. And then a Hula this Benefit one. bronzer because mom was out of mine. Hit this one. Yep, there's that one. I got a big old candle. This salted honey earth and hand candle. Look how big. It's a five wick candle. They had a lot of different colors too and scents, which I like. I figured that'd be pretty in the center of the table. And then last thing, again, this is like nothing, they didn't have anything crazy. I got another stool because these are Ezra now peas in the potty standing up. So we just needed more stools so that he's not going to go all the way back to his potty every single time. So anyways, now I'm going to get started on dinner. I'm super hungry. Sam should be home very soon. I'm going to put some of this like this needs to go up um, and then get to cooking dinner with these. Crazy ass children. Okay, so it is 930. I'm tired. I haven't worked out or I didn't work out for the first time in like a very long time. I didn't even do a walk, nothing. Because I'm about to start my period. So I'm just like a slug, you know? But I gotta get back to it on Monday. I've been slack, even about my supplements. Like I just haven't been with it. But anyways, two products I wanted to tell you guys about because I am floored by them. Let me see if I can squeeze y'all into this, this shelf. Okay, so I was sent two products by, what or I was sent three or four. Yeah, I was sent four total. One of them was a very bright red lip color, which thank you. However, I will not be wearing that. I don't wear red lips. Um, the other one was this highlighter. It's good. It's it's nothing to write home about. It, it's fine. It's a the infallible fresh wear highlighter highlighter illuminator. Um, it says high radiant finish. The color. Where's the color info? Or is this the only one? Or is high radiant finish the color? High radiant finish highlighter. Yeah, that must be the color. Oh, I see gold. 05. It's nothing to write home about. These two things? Holy crap. Okay. So first, I'll. Uh, whoa. This is the brow elimination up to 24 hour hold from L'Oreal. I don't know how much this costs. First and foremost, that brush. It is tiny but mighty. So powerful. I like, and I have dense brows. I like when a brush gets all the way deep like to your skin almost, I guess. So it's like this brush, if you've ever used this Benefit brow setter, like these are just soft bristles and they just kind of like barely get the outside of your brows. And when you have dense brows, you need like the product to really get in there. My brows look so good. They have not moved and they don't feel sticky. They don't look like stuck up. They don't look unnatural. They just look good. So I anything that has a wand, I'm also down for because you're you don't have to buy like two separate products. So this is amazing. This is the color transparent because I like the elf brow pencil. 12 out of 10. I will this is a bold statement. Probably not buy the elf stuff because you guys know how much I was really like I was just talking about these the other day. But today I tried this for the first time and I love it so much that like, I don't know if I will ever try anything else drugstore because this is that good. So that was really exciting. Second, I don't do a ton of setting mist. I use the L'Oreal True Match Nude Hyaluronic Tinted Serum in the color two to three. It's really beautiful on. I mean, it is just stunning on. Um, and between that and a setting powder, like I'm good to go. I do have a couple, the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist and then the Tarte Shape Tape Stay Spray. Those are the other two that I use that are really good. So I was like, let's try this. As soon as I put this on, I laughed and I was like, God, it's so funny. Like we, it's literally like hairspray for your face. It says three second setting mist. It's the L'Oreal Infallible 36 hour Defy Transfer Setting Spray. 
when I tell you I will have to work out tomorrow and I'm gonna like run or something and and I'm gonna have to report back and tell you I guarantee you my makeup will still stay stuck but like my makeup has not budged and I was like sweating today a lot your girl is very happy with these two super affordable finds L'Oreal's it's no surprise. Like L'Oreal is one of those brands that in my opinion is a little bit more consistent. Like CoverGirl in my opinion isn't as consistent. Um, Maybelline, not as consistent. What's another one that I, like Wet n Wild, not consistent. Um, I'm just trying to think of the ones as I'm like walking down the drugstore. But I find that like L'Oreal is one that tends to be a little bit more consistent. Neutrogena, middle ground I'd say I I'm I'm completely in love so anyways if you need a new brow gel or you need a setting spray try those because they are amazing and anyways now oh, I gotta put a little bit of dry shampoo in my hair where is the dry shampoo did I even I need to order more lord what did I do with it oh I do need to get more of this and I also need to get more of my setting powder I thought about that this is the Givenchy, oh God, I don't know how to say that. My redneck, I can't, no. So anyway, I'll link it. Um, but it has, you get the like color, it's not gonna come up on screen, but like, so blue, pink, purple, green. They all have like neutralizing effects to them and you get the color that you need based on your skin issues so i have really red undertones and like a lot of redness is my problem so this is the color that it recommended to me um i think if you have yellow undertones you need to get the one that has more pink in it such a good such a good powder um but anyway randomly just wanted to share some really good makeup favorites with y'all because I got dressed today around, I don't know, or I did my makeup around like, I think it was 11 or 12, might have been 12, um, when Ro went down for nap number two, so it was one, it was one o'clock, and it is 9.30 on the dot, and the makeup is still just in place, like I look like I put it on 20 minutes ago, so. Also, last tip, and then I'm actually gonna go, look at this. Look like I have gray hair.